Hey phone dogs, Bo HD here, and I thought I'd make a quick video showing you how to install more RAM on the Dell XPS 15 9560 uh, for those who are interested. The whole process is actually very, very easy and doesn't take much time at all if you have the right equipment. You should be able to figure it out for yourself, but uh, sometimes a visual reference is always nice. So, according to Dell's user manual, you're going to need a Torx T5 screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, and plastic scribe. However, the T5 screwdriver I purchased from Home Depot did not work, so I had to look online and order a T5.5 screwdriver, uh, which actually worked perfectly. I'm not sure if I had a bad T5 screwdriver in the first place or what happened, but just to be safe, I'd try and find a set with a 5.5 screwdriver just to save yourself a headache. I'll leave a link below to the one I have here. I do want to start by saying that you are responsible for anything that goes wrong in the process. I, nor phone dog, will be responsible if you break anything. Uh, the general safety rules for working on a desktop computer apply here. Uh, just make sure the machine is powered off and unplugged from the wall, and don't work in an environment uh, conductive to static shock. Make sure you ground yourself before touching anything inside the computer. But the process is very simple. You'll just need to unscrew all 10 of the T5 screws using your Torx screwdriver. Once that is done, you'll need to pull open the metal XPS flap on the back to reveal two Phillips screws. They're pretty small, so a small screwdriver is recommended to avoid stripping the screws. Um, I used a rather large screwdriver and was able to unscrew them without stripping. Just be careful. Okay, now you can start lifting off the back cover. You will need to use a plastic scribe or just a thin plastic card if you have one in your wallet uh, to undo the top portion which is held in place by two little clips. There may be a little snapping noise or two since there is a little clip that you will need to unhinge. Um, if you're careful, you shouldn't break it. Just move the plastic scribe or card along the seam. And that is how you open up this laptop. Compared to many other machines out there, uh, there are very few screws, and the screws that are here are easily exposed and accessible. Dell makes it really easy to get inside the XPS 15. From here, you'll notice two RAM slots. The XPS 15 9560 utilizes DDR4 RAM at 2400 megahertz. I will be upgrading the eight gigabytes here, which is in the form of two four gigabyte chips uh, with 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is in the form of two 16 gigabyte chips. So to remove the RAM, you'll need to pry apart the two prongs in each tray to lift up the chip so you can slide the chip out. Then you'll want to insert your new RAM chip ever so carefully, making sure the pins line up with the sockets. And once that is complete, you just have to push the entire chip down towards the motherboard until the prongs close back around the chip. You should hear some sort of noise to uh, signify that the, the tray is indeed closed. And once you do that with both RAM sockets, that is it, you are done. You'll just need to put the back cover back on. You will notice two little clips at the top that will need to be put inside the laptop shell before you actually close the rest of it and start screwing the screws back in. Uh, basically, you'll know that you have done a good job if there are no large gaps along the edges of the laptop once everything is screwed in. If there are, you'll just want to troubleshoot to eliminate those gaps. When the back is securely fastened to the laptop, you can power it on. You'll see a message that says the RAM has been detected. Mission accomplished. You can press continue to start running the operating system. Just for fun, I ran a couple of benchmarks. I'm more familiar with benchmarking Android and iOS smartphones, but I did run some benchmarks on this machine to see if there's any noticeable difference in performance with the added RAM. I ran Geekbench 4, which tests primarily the CPU before and after the upgrade, with 8GB of RAM and, of course, the Intel Core i5 Kaby Lake processor. It spit out a single core score of 4024 and a multi-core score of 10,992. With 32GB of RAM, it spit out a single core score of 4,244 and a multi-core score of 11,475. So the added RAM did improve the score, which translates to better performance, but the difference is fairly minor. The next benchmark I ran was the Time Spy test, a part of 3D Mark, which tests the CPU as well as the GPU performance. With 8GB of RAM, 3 d Mark gave me an overall score of 552, graphics score of 485, and CPU score of 2647. With 32GB of RAM, 3 d Mark gave me an overall score of 1644, graphics score of 1530, 
and CPU score of 2856. That, my friends, is a much different result than Geekbench 4, and it shows that if you're dealing with graphic intensive applications or games, the additional RAM is going to significantly improve the performance. With that said, I wish you the best of luck if you attempt this surgery. I hope this video proved useful for you. If not, maybe you learned a thing or two that could help you on your journey. I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.